So today we're going to be looking at um, Disk Partition Manager, but we're going to be looking at it through the command line interface um, on Windows. So I've got a disk with some volumes in a partition, um, and what I want to do is I want to erase everything, but I want to clean the surface of the disk, so I want to overwrite all of the sectors on that disk to make sure that um, when I put it back in the uh, laptop that I'm about to sell, I can be assured that the disk has been wiped completely clean and there is no accessible data on there. So I've got a 80 gig, two and a half inch drive. Um, I've got that connected via a StarTech USB 3 uh, to SATA interface connector. Um, and the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to go into the Windows Disk Manager GUI and have a look at the uh, have a look at the disk in there. So here we are in the Disk Manager. So these are my normal um, Windows partitions, and this is the disk that I'm interested in. As you can see here, uh, it's got two volumes and a raw uh, partition enabled. So uh, what I'm going to do is I want to remove all of those volumes and that part of those partitions and I want to overwrite all of the sectors on the disk uh, to clean it completely. So we're going to use disk partition uh, via the command prompt and you want to run this as administrator. So to enter the uh, disk partition manager you want to enter disk part that will then um, go off and probe all of the disks so to show the disks on the system I'm going to use a command called list disk and as you can see here you can got the uh, all of the disks listed uh, the one we're interested in is this one here um, which is uh, 74 gig usable so it's an 80 gig drive uh, now the first thing that we need to do is um, once we once we're making changes to this uh, you will find that your uh, GUI will crash when you delete these so what you want to do is we're going to close that down to start with and we're going to select disk 6 so this is important because if you don't you'll uh, you'll end up losing everything on your Windows installation so it's really important to get this right so we're going to select disk 6 uh, and that shows you that that is now the selected disk and what I'm going to do is to erase if you just want to erase the partitions and the volumes but you don't want to clean the disk then you will use uh, the command called clean if you want to erase all of the sectors on the hard drive then you're going to be using the command clean all so in this instance we're going to use clean all now you can run this um, a couple of times uh, two or three times and you will re-overwrite all of the sectors on the disk and you can be assured that uh, um, your disk will be clean before you pop it back in and you do a fresh installation on there before selling on your device so again we've double checked we've selected disk 6 now before we're going to do that we can actually show you that we have selected the correct disk so you can see a star next to disk 6 which tells us that that is the actual disk selected and then I'm going to run a clean all now this takes a little bit of time so we've just got to be patient and wait till that completes and what I'll do is once that's finished I'll come back and we'll carry on okay so as you can see that's now completed successfully so I'm going to go back in and now I'm going to so that shows us that the disk is uh, completely empty now now if we go back into the disk manager in Windows it should prompt us to um, online the disk there we go so you must initialize a disk before logical manager can access it so in this instance I don't want to do that um, because it's uh, completely wiped now and um, it's going to have a new 
version of Windows 10 installed it on it back in the laptop. So I'm going to say cancel to that. I'm going to close that down and then I'm going to exit. That's it. Thanks for watching.